So we're back to a low level drama. Pretty much nothing happens in this one, so it should be short. I'm not sure if anything didn't happen that was atrocious this time, or I've just become so apathetic to it that I didn't notice. But if you're going to do a character driven episode, you should make the characters interesting, and this show fails miserably. At the end, I think I'm going to give some ideas of what I think could have been done better. But I'm going to wait till the end so you have context for what I'm talking about and what I think could have been more interesting. So let's get started. I'm going to break this episode into John's part and Halsey's part, and then maybe a short part about Miranda at the end. Quan doesn't show up in this episode at all. She had less than five minutes of screen time last episode. So I guess her side story is just completely irrelevant. Or they didn't know what to do with it, so they had to spread it out over nine episodes with five minutes an episode. Okay, so John is still mad at Halsey, and Kai is getting medical treatment. Cortana says that John is sick, and he needs to get help, and John tells Cortana to go away. At this point, they lost the artifact, they can't track the Covenant ship that had the artifact, so everybody's pissed off. John locks Halsey in her lab and threatens to kill her with radiation, and he acts like a total dick, and then lets her out at the last second, and then he says he just wanted to see what the limits of Cortana were. There are no consequences for this, by the way. Like him threatening to kill their lead scientist and ripping apart their equipment and making your room radioactive. Just never comes up again. So John goes to debrief Maki because he's the only one that she'll talk to. She calls him a demon and says that if the other Keystone is here, you're in trouble. She tells him that they went to the Aspro system with the artifact and it's a holy relic for them. He says, you fell from the sky after the battle, why should I trust you? She doesn't answer the question and says that they're both the same because they're, they're both blessed ones. He says, don't let her near the artifact, but he also seems like he believes her, so it's really weird. Halsey is being interrogated about the Spartan program, and John walks in and kicks out the interrogator. Don't know how he has the authority to do this. He outranks pretty much nobody in the military, but the guy does it anyway. So it's just him and Halsey in there with holograms of Perengoski and Keys that they can't see, and then Miranda shows up partway through. He asks Halsey why she kidnapped him and did all that stuff to the kids who are now Spartans, and she says that she did it for the future of humanity, and that the Spartans were the next step. This drags out. He says he'll be fine without her, and he leaves mad. He goes to see Kai, who's awake now from her recovery, and she says that she has all of her memories, and she's sad. No clue why she has her memories, but John doesn't have any of his I'm sure it won't get explained, because obviously the artifact doesn't work for her. So John asks Miranda to see if Maki is also compatible with the artifact, and then he goes to check his diagnostics, and Quan flashes up behind him, which is really weird, because you usually use this kind of thing if they have a deep connection with somebody, but they knew each other for like half a day, and then he dumped her off on an asteroid. Miranda finds out that John and Maki have some marker in their DNA, and she says you guys are like two in a billion. He goes to interrogate Maki again and says that the planet's not there. She doesn't know anything or says she doesn't know anything, and he throws a tantrum because he has no discipline and he's completely out of control. She says that the keystone is killing him and he needs to embrace it. She does the we're the same thing again and explains how the Covenant forced her to use less powerful artifacts so she went through the same experience john tells miranda don't let maki near the artifact again he goes and touches it and gets more visions and then ends up in a dream world that turns out to be halo maki shows up in his vision and he touches her cheek and they have kind of a moment it's really weird because she also had a seizure when he touched it so i guess she's just connected to the artifacts if anybody touches them anywhere no idea how any of that works and that's it this episode john was mad at halsey he was kind of sick the whole time, and then he touched the artifact. So, this episode was filler for him, and pretty much everybody else. For Halsey, I'll just skip the part with her being locked in the lab by John, because we already talked about it. Perengoski is getting pressured by other high-up military people, and decides to throw Halsey under the bus in kind of a political move. This is when Halsey gets interrogated, and Halsey doesn't blame anyone. She dodges all the questions. She doesn't throw anybody under the bus. So she thinks her and Perengoski are on good terms. And then when she goes and sees Perengoski afterward, Perengoski's like, bitch, no, you're arrested. And she's like, if you want to blackmail me, go ahead. We'll all go sit in jail cells together. Or I'll give you a research lab in prison by yourself so you can still do your work. So Halsey pretty much accepts it. She gets put under temporary house arrest until they can relocate her. Uh, says to her assistant that without John, who told Cortana to go away, that Cortana will come back to her because she has nowhere else to go. And I guess her proximity to John just means nothing, even though she's like liquid goo inside his head. So Halsey locks Miranda out of the system using her assistant and tells Miranda to come see her. 
and then tells her she can't research the artifact without her. She doesn't understand it. Miranda's mad about the Spartan program from the meeting that she heard with her and John. Miranda uses the saving humanity at the cost of your own line that she already used the first episode. I guess they couldn't think of another one that they thought was clever. Halsey cries and says that she doesn't believe in the concept of family and apologizes to Miranda. And when Miranda leaves, Halsey pulls out a contact and gives it to her assistant who was hiding. So if you didn't remember that Halsey was a colossal piece of shit, we get another reminder here. Cortana makes her way to Halsey, which is what she said would happen, and tunes her in so she can watch John touch the artifact. Cortana says that he's dying and wants to shut him down. And Halsey says, no, I have to see this. So again, if there was any doubt in your mind at all that they want Halsey to be an absolute evil piece of shit, here you go. And then that's it for Halsey. So Miranda's part's the last part. I'm going to try to keep it short. She's taking care of Maki, who's muttering and saying Healy. She barges into the Halsey interrogation partway through. She runs into John in the hall. And that's when John says, see if she's compatible with the artifact. And this is when she's given Halsey's lab and then realizes that Halsey's locked her out of it. She finds out about Maki and John's DNA marker, and then she takes John to the artifact and says, please don't die when you touch it. And that's it for her. And that's it for the whole episode. So this episode was just personal drama. We got no character development. None of the characters are interesting. John's been mad at Halsey and pouting for like four episodes now. His visions give him like 10 seconds more memories each time. And I think my prediction about no more big fights until episode nine is looking pretty good. They didn't want it episode one one episode five i assume i mean they wasted episode six so i'm assuming that seven and eight will be more of the same and it's really unfortunate because with these character driven episodes if the characters were interesting it could be good but they're not the characters are all very good or bad and that's it and they all have a defining characteristic so i said i would give a couple suggestions that i think could have made it more interesting at least one would be keys inviting miranda to halsey's interrogation instead of her just barging in on it And we could have a nice little him coming to terms with what he did moment and a father-daughter moment where he talks about people making mistakes and how they had to be accountable for him and he wants to set an example for and blah, blah, blah. So then he's actually, you know, a good person who just made a terrible fucking decision. Halsey, instead of having her have crocodile tears and employ to screw Miranda over or to keep an eye on her, why not actually have her cry Ask Miranda to keep her in the loop until she goes off to prison and show that she has some trust in her and not just be a total bitch the whole time. And then we also see this thing with John where she's like, no, I have to see it. And that's something that also could have made her look a little bit better if she had been like, yeah, Cortana, shut him down so he doesn't get hurt. And Cortana would be like, oh no, I can't because the artifact's interfering. And then Halsey actually cares about the Spartans and cares about John, but she's still done a lot of bad things. But no, she has to be 100% evil all the fucking time. And also, why not have John thank Halsey for giving him his purpose and talk about how proud he is to be a Spartan and everything that he's accomplished. Acknowledge that he never would have accomplished everything that he has without her. But he can still be upset that it wasn't his choice to make, but also proud that he's dealt with it in a healthy way and he saved a lot of people and helped a lot of people. And this is more how he is in the books and the games, and I think it makes him a lot more interesting. Even Maki. Why not have her and John have a little moment where she's like, questioning her loyalty to the covenant even if she ends up staying with him in the end but no every person is just bad or good they have no personalities and if they do they're inconsistent like john who is as emotionally all over the place like a teenage girl so we end up with just a lot of characters that i think are boring as shit they could all be described in one word they're not complex yeah that's pretty much it for this one see ya